Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan, and uh, this is a uh, really basic tutorial for beginners, and I know I do a lot of beginner tutorials because I like helping out uh, kids that are new to this stuff and that might think they might like it. So this tutorial is going to go over basic things like uh, talking about what things do and why they do them, um, Xcode things and preferences. So, yeah, I'm going to be going over all that basic, like, all the basic stuff that you should know before making your first application. So, I'm on Lion, Xco 4.2.1 right now, and uh, these are home to list. This is a table view, OpenGL game, don't worry about that. Page base is, like, the flip up, like, Google Maps. Single view is what we're going to be working on. Nimble kit, don't worry. Empty is just nothing. Utility is a flip back screen, goes back and forth. Tabs, tab bar. Framework and library, Cocoa Touch Static. Uh, it's just a um, foundation framework framework library. Don't worry. Empty applications, just no files, targets, nothing. Uh, this is for Mac applications. So we're gonna be doing a single view application, and we're just gonna call it like test. Uh, this is your build bundle identifier. It's what defi the defines in and identifies any project you have. Your company name. Oh, com. Dot tabix. Dot test. Okay. Don't use a storyboard. It's like easier. No, oh, my bad. Storyboards are just like helping you plan out things when you're just like sitting there like, okay, so this needs to do this and that at the same time. So just don't worry about that. XYZ is class prefix. Use that. Save us to the desktop. It's fine. We're doing some really easy stuff. Uh, supported device orientations. Just use portrait for right now. You know, your devices would be iPhone unless you're making an app. Otherwise, Universal, it's a little bit different. Your main storyboard, you don't have a storyboard. Uh, your interface is always going to be your view controller, so you just leave that blank by default. Um, any other apps or like a main, like um, I think I'm pretty sure Utility only uses a main window as their XIB and interface file. So your info just describes shit about your app, your icon files, document types, UTIs, URLs. Build settings, the only thing you should worry about is if you code signing, if you're even that advanced where you code sign, just don't worry about it. Don't mess with the ARM v6, ARM v7, the architectures, or anything with GCC and the compilers. So, we're just going to worry about this. And uh, naming your app, so like the bundle name would be whatever app, or what the name of it is, just don't mess with this either. This is the identifier dictionary version, don't touch any of this stuff, I wouldn't really mess with it. Okay, so these are just what your 114, 114 app icons. 640, I think it's 960, 640. 320 by 480 is, yeah, Retina, 640 by 960, my bad. 320 by 480, just put an image here for the, for the launch image, it's what comes up before the app is even launched. So, we're going to go right into this. Your view controller h is your header file. Your view controller m is your implementation. In the header file, it describes what's going to be in the implementation and a little description about it. So we're going to go ahead and make an example. So I'm just going to make a label. So I would do IB outlet, which is an interface builder outlet UI label, and we'll call it label. Simple as that. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to describe what a um, IB outlet really is. So picture it like a box. Okay. And in this box, I'm going to put this little hook, the little hove, whatever it is. Picture it's like an object, okay? And I have interface builder outlet for the label is a label. There's a whole bunch of other things. If you do this, you hit escape. It shows you all hundred other things. I wouldn't really worry about these. So we're just going to be using a label. I hate Xcode 4. So then picture it's like an object. Okay, so this is like a little object in a little box. Think about a cardboard box or something. So this is an object. It's always IB out interface builder outs are always describing an object. Whether it's a button, it can describe pretty much anything that's in an interface file. And down here is an IB action. This is uh, describing the action for the ID as the sender. So this is the action. Actions can also be outlets. Or objects, as long as um, it's described as an object in your header file, which we could do. Like I can make this. Like I can describe a little more about this. Like let's just say since that's going to be a button. I could just make this UI button. I can just call that button or whatever you want. So 
then I can have two outlets. Like if I wanted to connect this to the button, but I also wanted to do something else to the button, like hide it or something, then I would connect it to this too. But we're not going to be doing that today. We're just going to be making a label change to whatever the text field says. So we're going to call this text field. And it's always neat to cap. It's always more professional and neat to capitalize the second letter. So you are saying text field did load now. Whatever. It's a lot simpler. Just name it whatever you want like this. Never just do it. Like I hate when I see kids do it like this. It's really, it's kind of a spitting coding face, honestly. Because everyone knows that knows more about programming. It always is capital, second letter. So... In this case, one word, you're not going to, what are you going to do, capitalize the N? No, I'll just leave it how it is. It's one word. So we can copy this right here. Go in your implementation. And right underneath the implementation, I just talked about, oh, there's already one, I'm not used to that. So, uh, yeah, we can just do label that text. So it's saying the label's text is equal to the text field's text. Simple as that. There's really nothing more to it. And then you can you can if you want to get more advanced, then you can do if label that text is equal. You can do equal equal. It'd probably be better for it. Equal equal to the text fields dot text. Then the statement that's going to happen. Then it's going to be a uh, button. We're going to make another out in a second. Dot enable equals yes. I don't think, you know, enable isn't even... But that, you get my drift, you know, you understand what I'm saying. Button.hidden is yes, so if, if the label's text equals, if the label's text is the text field's text, then the button's gonna be hidden. But just don't worry about that right now. It's a little bit too advanced. So just work with this for right now. Okay, so... If I build that again, I shouldn't get any errors. Are you serious? Oh, because I didn't get rid of the if statement. I feel really dumb for that right now. <laughs> okay, so now we build it, it'll be alright. Okay, so label that text equals the text field's text. Easy as that. So we're gonna make a couple interface things. We're gonna make a text field. That easy. Label. And the thing I love it most about Xcode is it's all done in one window, one program. And it's just a lot better for everybody. It works out, keeps things more organized. I'm going to define this a little bit more. You can make this link. I can just put five lines, doesn't matter. Just then put our, our button. I know it's really, really laggy, I'm sorry. Because I'm using my quick time now because I just did a whole other video and it didn't work. So I'm going to put a uh, placeholder. So there, that's pretty much it. We can even make this bold probably. You can even add a shadow. <laughs> so how do we do that? Make the shadow white. That looks ugly though. Oh my god, what am I doing? I'm just gonna reverse this, make this white, make the shadow black. That's nicer. And I'll actually make this so we can see it, so... Let's... There, let's make that nice and big. Okay, so go to your files owner, your placeholders. And we'll connect the label to the label. Oh, not that. Text field to your text field. <clears throat> And the change to touch up inside. Save it and you can run it. <sighs> and you can just wait for it to go. Okay, blah, uh, doesn't matter. You guys won't get that error, it's just mine. And I am coming out with a sequel to my old app. I'm not even gonna say the name of my old app because it's an embarrassment. Um, yeah, so...
My new app's gonna be called Bit Hero, B I T H E R O. So that should be up in like I don't even know because I've been drifting away from coding and coming back, then back and forth. It's it's a lot. So so that says default by default. So we're just gonna type in lol or something. And it's it's a little bit more creative since we're using shadows. You can even use anything on the keyboard. It doesn't matter. It will work and have a shadow and be stylish. And you guys can follow me on Twitter too. At Ryan Cohen. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, what we did was made uh, the label text equal to exactly whatever the text field's text was. So, it's pretty cool. It's really good tutorial for beginners. I always love doing these tutorials because it's just it's just really fun to do. So, then uh, yeah, you guys can follow me on Twitter. And uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all my viewers and I love all my subscribers. Have a good day, guys.